a mouth is a great place to do a back stitch, but if your mouth looks a lot different than this one, you may just want to cut out some felt and use tacky glue to attach it. But for the demo, I am going to use the back stitch to create my mouth. I used a skinny Sharpie and lightly drew where I was going to go to make it a lot easier, a little less thinking. The closer your stitches are, so we always start on the back here, the closer your stitches are, the better the curve will be. If you have a straight line, not such a big deal. Leave some extra. Go in through the front, just like a running stitch. Just like a running stitch, go in the same spot except instead of going forward for a running stitch you are going to go back from the same hole as your previous stitch and now they are linked just like you would the running stitch you're going to poke from underneath Instead of going forward, you're going backwards. One more time, poke it through the back. Instead of going forwards, you're going back into the previous hole. When you're all done, since we did a line and we can't just tie the two ends together, we want this to be secure. So if you just go under one of your stitches and pull, it creates a loop. So if you pull all the way, that loop disappears. But if you dive your needle through the loop and pull, it created a knot. So now that part is secure. This guy should be okay as long as you leave a pretty long tail there. If it bugs you, you might be able to tie these two pieces together. I'm just gonna let that guy go. Another way would be to take just a tiny bit of tacky glue and just rub it down so it stays and it's not gonna go anywhere. 